Hey Sunshines, today's video is a collab put together by Two Moms, One Baby. I will link her channel below. Um, we are also in a group called V Loves Collabs on Facebook and I will link that below as well, as well as her YouTube channel, which is V Loves. Um, today's story happened when I was in fifth grade and it was my fault it happened. Um, my fault I got embarrassed. So let's get this on the road. Okay, so in fifth grade, I had, you know what, I'm sorry, it was sixth grade. In sixth grade, um, I had this a huge crush on this boy. His name was Joe. He was one of the most popular boys in the school. And he, it was like that time where boys had <clears throat> like a little rat tail at the back of their neck. And I mean little, like a little, like a little, <laughs> I think it looks dumb as, dumb as hell now, but you know, back then. So in sixth grade, I had him, this crush on this kid. And I don't know, like, he was dating the one of the most popular girls in school, of course. Sui, Sui, I think was her name. Pretty sure that was her name. Okay, so he was dating her for a really long time, and they'd break up, and then they'd go back together, and then they'd break up, and then he would be like single. So one of the times that he was single, I was like, man, I had like I had this crush on him so bad that I would envision. Um, him coming to class and holding my books and walking to class with me and hanging out with me after school and um, <laughs> all these like just ridiculous I don't know it was just just uh, I yeah I was just envisioning that so anyway um, <laughs> So I got to the point where I was just like madly in love with him and this sounds so crazy you guys. <laughs> I was so madly in love with him and um, there was a girl that I was friends with and my, my cousins who lived down the street were friends with her and she was hanging out a lot more and I got to the point where I told my mom, I was like, hey. I'm dating Joe and she's like who's Joe and she's like what does that mean and I'm like well we just hold hands and he carries my books sometimes <laughs> uh, and she was like my mom did not want me dating but she didn't say much more than that um, so actually she did tell me I had to break up with him at some point I can't remember exactly what point that was but she got really upset because she was like you can't take this further blah 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 I don't remember everything she said and I was like, whatever, mom. Typical response, I guess. But, uh, so this girl, she also went to our church. So this girl, um, I, she was like, hey, do you have a, a boyfriend? And I'm like, or she's like, hey, I heard you had a boyfriend. And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, I do. His name is Joe. And I was like, how did you even hear that? And she's like, oh, yeah, your cousin Lydia. And I'm like, what? I forgot her and Lydia were like, hanging out a lot then so <laughs> yeah so I was like oh no big deal I can tell her because she's homeschooled she was homeschooled and the next year she um, I think it was next year or it was later that year it was here later that year or next year she decided to go to public school and she was like hey I want to meet um, your ex-boyfriend because I told him or your boyfriend I was like oh no we broke up we're we're not together and she was like because I found out she was in public school and I'm like oh my god we're in the same grade she's gonna find out and of course she went to um, school and she was like hey who's Joe and is there a Joe in this grade and she made friends with the popular group I wasn't in the popular group I was in the like well, let's be straight here I'm pretty sure I was con probably considered a nerd. No one ever said it to my face, but like, I don't know, because I had some friends who were um, of the more 
popular group. They weren't exactly, oh, they didn't always hang out with them. It was kind of like, they were kind of like the people that were able to like integrate all the, the cliques. <laughs> um, but yeah, she got into the popular group. Um, I think it's because she was allowed to wear jeans and she was, because her family allowed that, they also were allowed to watch movies. I wasn't allowed to move, uh, watch movies. She also was allowed to listen to music I wasn't allowed to listen to. She was on the up and up and like she, she got in real, real quick with that crowd and of course she ended up finding out who Joe was and she ended up dating him. And the embarrassing part was because after <laughs> after finding out who he who he was, she came up to me and she was like, "Hey, he says he never dated you." And I was like, "Oh, yes, we did." I don't know. And she's like, "Well, why is he saying that?" I'm like, "I don't know why he's saying that." And <laughs> I'm oh god, it's so embarrassing to think about. But then we had I ended up having art class with Joe, and he ended up sitting at my table, and <laughs> he would stare at me. Like, when we, the first time we were put together, we had, like, the four desks like this. And I was, like, I was this corner, and he was the corner, kitty corner across from me. And he would, he didn't, like, say nothing to me at first. And then one time he was like, hey, why did you say that we were dating? I was so embarrassed. I couldn't even own up to it. I was like, I never said that. Ever. And then, of course, he was like, yes, you did. Um, Leah said this and that, and everybody else is saying this and that. And I'm like, oh my god, I was so embarrassed. Oh my god. Oh, embarrassed. <sighs> so, he didn't talk to me much after that, for a while, anyway. And then, eventually, he did, like, do, like, like, say hi and random stuff. But, literally, when he put me on blast like that in front of the class. Oh my god, it was so embarrassing. And it was my fault. Because I thought no one would find out. And there's another brief story. Um, when I was in... 8th mm, grade or something. No. No, I think I was in 6th grade then too. Oh my god, okay. So, I had gone to church in a white skirt. And I was having stomach cramps and everything. And I'm like, oh man, I bet... I, I, no, I wasn't having cramps. My stomach just hurt. Actually, they were cramps. I just didn't realize it. But anyway, I went out. I went out to the van and took a nap because I was really tired. It was a Wednesday night church, um, and I had to get up at uh, five. That was a fly. Uh, five. No. Yeah, five in the morning then to get on the bus by six, and church didn't end till like nine. And by the time I got home, it was like ten. So. Anyways, I went to church in that white skirt. Took a nap that time, went back in the church and whatever, walked around, was getting stared at a lot, heard some giggles, I'm like, oh, that's weird, whatever. Ignored it, went about my thing, hung out with my friends, went home. Yeah, I took my skirt off. There was a red circle this big on the back of my white skirt. My friends never told me and everybody else obviously never told me. So embarrassing. Obviously that was a uh, period stain. Oh my god. That was really, that was pretty embarrassing when I realized I'd walked around and no one told me anything and just left. Sixth grade was awesome for me. <laughs> Not really. Like, I know this was an embarrassing moment thing, but I even had like I got picked on by an 8th grader, so an 8th grader and a ninth grader, they were sisters, and they would throw spitballs in my hair, and they didn't like, they liked my cousin. They didn't like me, and when I asked them why, when I got the nerve to ask them why, they were like, oh, I don't know. But they made fun of my clothing, and I was in a, a church, well, my mom went to a group, a church group that, um, they were very much like the Mennonites, I guess you could say, if you want to compare, if you know what, a, what Mennonites are. Um, our German Baptists, is, if you've ever met a German Baptist, I pretty much had to dress like they do, without the bonnet. Um, like, long skirts, um, skorts, culottes, 
culottes look like a skirt if you don't know what that is um, and they go down your like your knee it's like a long short basically like a sport short basically a little bit looser and um, I, um, I, I was always wearing out-of-date clothing because my mom took us to Goodwill and um, I tried to pick stuff out that was fairly uh, you know with the times but yeah it didn't always happen so <laughs> my turn of the cat just went after the fly you all saw that flew back there <laughs> and she just <laughs> jumped on the couch and knocked it down okay so I guess that's my time to go out because I've just like rambled on extra stuff that's not part of this right so <laughs> hashtag team love yourself if you enjoyed this these stories um please like and subscribe and i will see you next time bye